kind of sad. A panacea is something that's a cure for all things, so it's a kind of universal remedy. I'm Henry Hitchings and I am very interested in language. I'm the author of a book called The Secret Life of Words. My other thing that I do is that I am a theatre critic. The word panacea comes from the name of a Greek goddess. She was the goddess of, of cures, of remedies. And um, it used to be believed that there was actually some kind of substance, some kind of potion that was a cure for all ailments known to mankind. And indeed, alchemists used to search for such a cure. We now recognise that no such cure exists. And so we use the word panacea metaphorically uh, to talk about something which is presented as a, as a solution to a lot of problems. We recognise that actually it can't be. There is a sense in which a, a panacea still has force as a kind of superstitious idea. It's something that people believe in. Uh, they have a kind of spiritual, magical faith in a particular substance. It could be something like tea tree oil, or in my father's case, TCP, or uh, tiger balm. If they rationalise it, they know that this probably doesn't hold the answer to all their problems, but they have faith in it based on past experience, and so they go back to it time and time again. And it has a psychological effect, which is positive, whatever the realities of its medical efficacy might be.